Paul Lambert, who was making his home debut and his first taste of the by now customary Celtic huddle. And despite that eye injury against Rangers, Alan Stubbs was on from the start and he had two early chances. That one there saved by Stephen Woods and the second from the resultant corner cleared off the line by Valakari. But Celtic totally dominated the first 25 minutes and they could and should have been two or three up. The header by Larson and Motherwell again lucky to survive there. Alec McLeish none too happy with his defence. The Dutchman Reggie Blinker seemed to be in the mood for this one. He tormented the Motherwell backline in that opening spell. And how did that one stay out? Stephen Cragen, the man in the right spot at the right time for well. And then what do you know? Mother will take the lead. Valakari's free kick flicked on by Henry. McCulloch to coil and he buried it. 1-0 after 28 minutes. Certainly a touch of good fortune about this goal. Coil shot coming off the back of McCulloch deceiving Jonathan Gould. And they could have made it two just a few minutes later. No one challenging the advancing Henry until it was too late. But Gould got down well to block the effort. And then got in a bit of a tangle himself. Then ten minutes from half-time, things went from bad to worse for Celtic. Keep your eye on Reggie Blinker in the top right of the picture. The winger appeared to elbow Kevin Christie in the face. The replay proving that Blinker's right arm did make contact with Christie. Referee Willie Young saw it all. A red card for the Celtic winger, who's now suspended for Wednesday's old firm game. A sore one for Christie, but he managed to play on. Celtic had the ball in the net just before the interval. Craig Burley's shot turned in by Valakari, but the goal was disallowed. Referee Young ruling that Donnelly had handled the ball in the six-yard box. The Celtic fans didn't like the decision, but once again the replay proving that referee Young got it right. Into the second half, the Larson free kick headed off the line. Nothing would go right for Celtic. But then Motherwell threatened from the free kick. Christie's drive not far away. And then in injury time, the classic sucker punch. Owen Coyle skinned Stubbs down the right. And with Reaper caught upfield looking for the equaliser, Coyle picked out Weir and he rolls it into the empty net. A disaster for Celtic, 2-0 Motherwell, a priceless victory for Alec McLeish's men, which lifts them off the bottom. Well, I don't, I don't want to get any controversial waters, but Brian Martin says we bust his coop now. <laughs>